All right, folks. Um, welcome back to the show. Uh, thank you so much for joining in. That has been a very, very short commercial break. Uh, of course, we are paying tribute to the fallen hero that is Benjamin Ayimba. And of course, a very, very somber mood. And of course, a very, very big loss for the Kenya Rugby Union Fraternity and of course, the World Rugby Fraternity. He did serve a lot of people out here in terms of World Rugby. Uh, I know a lot of guys are paying tribute uh, to Benjamin across the globe. And of course, today uh, on the show, I have a very good guest and a very special guest to the show. Ladies and gentlemen, Amos Obai, Karibu Sana Amos. Welcome to the show. Sina sina kitu ya ku sanitize nayo lakini I'm pretty sure uko sawa. Uko sawa. Karibu sana. Now folks, um this is Amos. Um he is a former Kisi RFC player, Kisi rugby player. Uh of course uh, currently playing his, his trade uh at the top fry in Akura RFC um team now. Almost Karibu Sana to the show. Uh, it's it's my pleasure to have you here. I've always wanted to make sure that uh, the players that have, um, have really come through the ranks uh, through uh, Kisi Rugby and also proceeded to other teams can also pay homage and come back home. Karibu Sana. Now, um, this, uh, this, this, this year has been a very, very funny year. It has been a very tough year. Uh, besides the fact that... Uh, We've we've not had a lot of games to play uh, as compared to this this past season. Now, in a nutshell, I'd like for you to take me through uh, your career in terms of uh, the game. Uh, how did it start? Uh, I mean, you just take us through your journey. Okay, uh, my journey started back way in high school. I was at a uh, Yeah, it's a, it's a good school in Kisi County. Kenya at large. Uh, I started while I was in Form 2. Yeah, Form 2, third term. That's when I, I got interested during those interclasses. So that's when I decided, let me try this sport. And uh, during that moment, that's when some senior players came to me and told me to try. You know, the likes of Frank Zappa, Frank Romani, is one of the guys who introduced me to rugby. But he introduced me in a way that I uh, was wanting. Huh? <laughs> How did he introduce you to rugby? Hey, you know that time uh, it's game time and you are hiding yourself at the hostel. Mm -hmm. And then he comes and he finds me there. Hey, Alindona Viboko. <laughs> Alindona Viboko. So he can call like, uh, if I miss, Napigo. Uh. So that's how I started it. Mm -hmm. uh, then after a while in high school, I remember by the time I was in Form 5, I was the captain. Yes. And for the first time, I led the school to the national level. So yes. we finished uh, sixth yes. at the national level. So I guess that was my the biggest achievement in high school. That was your highlight. That was my highlight back yes. in high school. How many trophies did you win uh, with, uh, with school, with your school? Oh, quite many. I remember... Um, I Kisumu opens. Yes. Uh, we are we are champions uh, two times. Uh, for Kisi County, for like two years, uh, yeah. we were the champions. Yes. About 15 and 7. Okay. Yeah, and then after that, uh, after yeah. Ethereum. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I mean, you uh, finished high school, um, but before high school, I remember you used to come and play for the rugby club that is Kisi Rugby before you even finished high school. I remember I used to call back to your school teacher, Mr. Nyantika, then asked him to send me a couple of boys from high school. And uh, voila, that's where that's when I saw you. And uh, from Form 3, uh, you played club rugby from Form 3, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, uh, just looking at your club career and uh, your proceeding from high school to, to club, that transition, can you please take us through how how you managed and uh, how was life and how did you, how I mean, how did you find Kisi Rugby? Because I think your life and journey uh, epitomizes what Kisi Rugby was from growth, uh, got into championship, uh, later Kenya Cup, and now we are where we are. So, yeah, just clearly what, take us through all that. Uh, just on that note, uh, while, while I was in Form 3, I remember you personally used to call our games teacher. And who opened also was the secretary. 
yes. and he was also a member of the Kisi rugby team. So while in Form 3, I could train with you guys. Uh, and uh, during games, uh, during uh, weekends, uh, when Kisi were playing away, by then they were nationwide. I was also part of the squad. Uh, mm. And uh, that, that helped me a lot. When I used to come back to school, maybe for the school games, they were much easier yeah. because I've played nationwide, I've met bigger guys while I'm in high school. It built me and it gave me that uh, courage uh, yes. to tackle anything that's in front of you, run into them like nothing. So I wasn't scared of anything. Uh, it helped me during. So while I was playing after high school, I had to join KCRFC because now that uh, I, uh, it was like I, uh, I was in the academy. So yes. now I've Joined them. I've yes. graduated to KCRFC. Yes. So now during KCRFC also, it helped me a lot. Now, um, your life in KC Rugby, you got into Nationwide, uh, you qualified from uh, Nationwide to Kenya Cup. Can you take me through that journey? Okay, so after I finished high school, we played Nationwide. That was back in 2015. We played. Uh, that's 2014-2015 season, we played Nationwide. 2016, uh, no, 2015, 2016, we were still in Nationwide. But I remember now, uh, during the regional mm -hmm. uh, regional quarterfinals, uh, we were knocked out by Moi. Yeah, it, Moi University. Moi knocked us out. And uh, uh, most of us guys were giving up. Yeah. Because again, now another season yeah. in Nationwide. Because uh, I guess that was the ninth time we were playing Nationwide. Yes. So most of the guys were... Hey, Again, then I could a national next season, a normal. Mm -hmm. So most guys were thinking of quitting, yes. playing for KC. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what happened. And then uh, we were told there is a, a tire that has been formed, mm -hmm. which was championship. Mm -hmm. And uh, the teams that reached final, uh, the quarterfinals in the region are going to play the championship. Yes. And then another t surprise came in. We were invited to play in the Division 1 series. Yes. Uh, so that was uh, a, a boost yes. to KCRFC. Now, these are second tire, meaning we are not going to play Nation with again. Yes. Then uh, the sponsor mm -hmm. came on board. Yes, we had a legion. So we have new kids. Imagine if you did run now. I. <laughs> uh -huh. So the sponsor came with a boost, a very good boost to us because championship kulikuwa na away game to Nenda, Mombasa, kuna away game to South Coast, mm -hmm. Kakamega. Mm -hmm. So ilikuwa, ilikuwa, ilikuwa big challenge, but sponsor to Saidia, mm -hmm. allowance ka check in. Mm -hmm. So the first game of championship, our first game we were playing against uh, USIU. Mm -hmm. Na wawande walikuwa mebeba nationwide. But since the, new, the, the championship was formed, awakwa promoted direct to Kenya Cup of Kenya. So you have to play this day, the winner proceed. will proceed. Mm -hmm. I remember that game, it was idea sana because we managed to beat them. That was 17-11. Uh, yes. Na hiyo ndi tupatia motivation that season. Yes. Because these are the champions nationwide. Sisi tulikuwa tulikuwa tusha pigwa region mm -hmm. yeah. So kuwa piga tukasema ma guys in your season yet. Yes. Tunaenda i Kenya Cup. Yes. Eh, so for your season, eh. Ilikuwa tough. I remember the first leg mm -hmm. uh tuli win game zetu zote. Mm -hmm. Before to end your break ya uh, you know, the, the the Christmas break. Mm -hmm. Tuli win game zetu zote. Mm -hmm. After the break hivi tumeenda tume travel away to UOE. Mm -hmm. I guess Wali tupiga na ika tufungua macho. Mm -hmm. Tufungua macho. Mm -hmm. So after that, yoyo yu, yu, yu tupiga kwa, tukarudi. Tukarudi drawing board, ika, ika tufungua macho. So after that, tuka win some games. And that season, I remember, we, uh, the second game we lost was to Mombasa away. Mm -hmm. Mombasa, tulienda kwa Mombasa pia. Waka tupiga, mm -hmm. I guess. I, I, I guess I'll blame the climate. Eh. Hey. Zita ile climate yako kuna jua inatoka chini ngine juu kingia raka kuna ganda. Mm -hmm. So Mombasa wako tupiga. Mm -hmm. But we were lucky. We, we secured a, a semis home. Yes. 
and uh, we were going now for the third time to Liverpool to play na USIU. Now you, um, I mean, proceeded uh, played in championship uh, for Kisi. You played for nationwide. You played nationwide for Kisi yeah. championship. Uh, then moved on to Kenya Cup. Now uh, there is this photo. There is this photo that uh, <laughs> you and Alvin Marube you were wearing some funny kids. Uh, I'm not so sure. You've. Uh, I mean, you. Uh, it was uh, the final of Masaku oh, Seven. Oh, yeah. Masaku this seven. photo. I mean, looking at you now and uh, looking at that photo. Ni umetoka mbali Amos. Ah. Umetoka mbali. Hiyo picha by the way it should be on the screen uh, for the fans. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is uh, you and uh, Alvin, Alvin Marube. Marube. That is uh, the final of Masaku 7 that is 2016. Yes. 2016. 2016 yes I think. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. photo. This one this specific photo now. I think you were wear uh, you were weighing around 45. <laughs> 45 kilo ni kilo za boots. Now take us through um your your now journey from um uh transitioning from uh, playing nationwide championship now you're in Kenya Cup. You're playing in the biggest league uh, in the country. You 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 I mean you're playing against the best and it, I think it now offers an opportunity for you to grow. You know, mm-hmm. make sure that you if you are in level 1, you now proceed to level 2. What was the experience uh I mean playing first of all qualifying for uh, for Kenya Cup and then playing in the Kenya Cup uh league. Uh that picture that you saw there mm-hmm. on the screen. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, we had a short stint with the Catholic University mm-hmm. monks mm-hmm. for that 7 pe- seven seven season. Period, yes. Yeah, so during that uh, that was my first time I played in the division 1 with the uh, queer. Mm-hmm. And I remember it was Prince Lu mm-hmm. on my path day. Mm-hmm. And the first game I played was against uh, Queens. Mm-hmm. Now uh, it's uh, I'm from high school and the guys that I'm playing alongside is William Mambaka, Patrice Agunda. Mm-hmm. Those are the guys I'm pairing against. You know, mm-hmm. These are the guys I've been seeing on magazine on the TV. Yes. Now I'm playing against them. Yes. And luckily enough that game we we scored only one try mm-hmm. and I was the yeah, the try scorer yeah mm-hmm. so it motivated me but i didn't stay at queer for long but it helped me it build me and it's true monks that i was called to the under 20 kenya under 20 kenya under 20 yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, speaking of which you played uh, in the kenya under 20 team and um, uh th- that was also another very good experience of course uh, qualifying for uh, for for such a position is never easy but also playing for your national team is one of those uh, biggest achievements for anyone out there what was your experience playing under the under 20 side uh, so there you know now you have those skilled coaches mm-hmm. everything so and the players that have been selected they know what they do yes. so i was up to the task yes and it helped me mm-hmm. and that's after finishing my stint with monks and the under 20 i came back to kisi yes because of schooling yes and now when i came back to kisi i at least had i uh, had more experience i had more you exposure had gone out. yeah because yes. i'd gonna had more exposure mm-hmm. and i was appointed the vice captain yes for kisi yes you were lucky enough to play in uh, mcheza mcheza tournament yeah, what team did you play for hey, hey, hey. and by the way mcheza was one of uh, benjamin aimba's brainchild yeah. and uh, Uh, I mean uh, we do celebrate and of course we do remember Benjamin Aimba but your experience for 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 taking part at the Mcheza Seven Chesa. how yeah. was it because you know Mcheza you are not playing with the players that you are used to yes. it was just a selection of players from different clubs mm-hmm. i remember uh, it was a one day tournament mm-hmm. yeah it had good money mm-hmm. i I got uh, I got a close to more players to Liparana players swinging to Kajuana through that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, most of the the CB twins to mm-hmm. Konao. Mm-hmm. Uh, Oira. Mm-hmm. is also in KCB. Mm-hmm. And Mike Mike Wanjala. Yes. Yes, so the Twinjons. coach. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and I'll go coach it. Mhm. Sije yet ni amara ni misa. Yeah, so pia hiyo ni jenga. Ili ni jenga kiasi kiasi. Okay. Now uh you played the uh, championship but i have seen you play more sevens and i've seen you play 15s you've had a very good um how do i call it 
a, a better season, a not better season, a better sevens experience as compared to the 15s. So I, just in a nutshell, there was a very good Kisi side uh, that was in between 2017, 18, 18. and 19. It was a very nice seven side. What was your experience uh, playing? Because we used to go to every tournament. We used to uh, compete for for honors, and uh, we used to get we used to meet Cabras either in the cup and in the ball ball semi final. Day two asubui kila siku ni Cabras kila siku ni Cabras. So lazima tena tuanza kutafuta inaitwaje invitation invitation in the next week. That was that, that was, was experience. In, that was in 2017. 2017 bana. Walikuwa unajua tu invitation. Mostly ulikuwa unapata 2017 tutapigana hapo day 1 we can't manage to make the cup quarters the cup, main cup quarters mm-hmm. so inabidi tena you have another chance to fight mm-hmm. so unapata hapo ni ba baulo mm-hmm. so baulo utapata hapo tuko na kabras kabras yeah. kabras ndio imeleta mafijia na nataka kutukimbisha <laughs> ah hapo si tushajua aje hii ni relegation mm-hmm. lakini sasa orangi ni nani <laughs> orangi amecheza kama yeye yeah, the next tournament <laughs> sisi ndio hapo tena division 1 so during that 2017 Yo, hizo invite kucheza division 1 ili tusaidia sana. Mm. And then that same year, that 2017, tumecheza Kenya ka? Yes. Yo, yes. So pia, we had, we had, we had names. Mm-hmm. Kulikuwa, at least tulikuwa tumecheza cheza, so tulikuwa na hii exposure. Mm-hmm. So coming to the 2018 local circuit, yes. the first tournament ilikuwa Prince Loop, mm-hmm. we started with from division, division 2, two. Yes, yes. to ka win. Mm-hmm. Now it's automatic, you win division 2, Get you get promoted. Mm-hmm. So to Meshinda, so moving is sit will go on a rule yet. So to Nasema, maybe division uh they wanna to Jamaica division and uh, to Jamaica main cup quarters. Mm-hmm. So meaning you have to fight for a slot and you maintain. Mm-hmm. So uh day two, Baulo, I kiada mkwe nani, lazma to a pig. I remember we, we once relegated Impala. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we have. We, we relegated queens. queens yeah. We relegated doilers. Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. So 2018, tulikuwa na a good squad. Yeah. You have the likes of Alin Marube. Mm-hmm. Saima nye pia lipata kola pia Kenya Sevens. Mm-hmm. You have uh, the guys like Calvin Shonda. Mm-hmm. Ada Nondis. Mm-hmm. Isaac Wafula ndi yu alienda queens. queens yes. At least, nojua, most of those players tulipata tumekua distributed. Yes. You like say you can almost every team to the Zakisi player on that squad. Yes. Yeah, twenty eighteen Ako. Ako somewhere. Ako somewhere. So na which means it's nana, pedigree. Yeah. yeah. Nana Chesa either Kenya Cup, na obvious seven sata. Mm. Ata Chesa. There's this photo. Uh, what is the experience of playing um uh now? You've moved from uh Kisi rugby, uh later on you've gone to Top Rainakuru, where you currently play your trade. Now uh I I don't know the experience but in the former my my show a couple of weeks ago I had Charlton Mokua seems like everyone wants to move from Kisi to, to Nakuru. You're mm-hmm. the second person who's moved directly. We had uh, Felix Umondi also moved to Nakuru. Now yeah. uh Roger Sgoro also moved to, to Nakuru. Nakuru. Uh, I think George Sagini Alikwama Pakatikati. I think Akukericho. Ali Nona Ali Nona <laughs> now, uh, you've you've now done your bit in PC, you've played championship, you, uh, you've won a couple of trophies, you've played in the National 7 circuit, you've done very well. Um, you now m- decide it's time to make your big leap from uh, KC Rugby to Top Fry Nakura FC. Uh, just take me through the experience of transitioning first to Top Fry Nakura FC and also the experience of playing among us the likes of uh, Oscar Uma, Monate Akuei, uh, Geoffrey Ominde, you know, those very good players uh, yeah. that have made a name out here. Uh, I remember you go. Tungebagi Kenya Cup Gays, Bado Tungekwe Kisi. Yes. I remember the last game we got on a chess against Stratum. Now you got to keep your strat. Tunabaki. Tunabaki Kenya Cup. Mm. Takini had to go. Whatever happened, Sijui, to leave the game, we shot in 2017. Yes. I remember your, your game by the what was it there? Yeah. You were just starting to make audio coaching. Uh-huh. And I just have been to make nine years. Yeah. Almost as a championship year season, more just so those are ten years. Ten years. Kupanda Kenya Cup. Yes. So I'm I love to na teramuga na season more. Season more. But in a season year, I was quite fair. I'm not sure your time will be quite one way. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you can go na your home and away. 
tungebaki yeah. kuna teams zingekuja KC Nondis uh, ah. KU Uh, uh, Kenya Ale Queens uh, I mean of course uh, those uh, were very uh, e- those were easy games to play because I remember this I remember it to be a quite a lot of fall to be experience yes because I remember to got in a lead 17 teams game 17 because 19 in the first half in yeah. second half ikaisha 21 wakakuja hapo wakatupe but now after that after to make relegated uh, na ikabiri yenyewe tena kurudi hapo championship no no mm-hmm. so we had calls mm-hmm. tulikuwa i had a call from homeboys mm-hmm. last to join homeboys but whatever i wanted i was kuni offer mm-hmm. wa strat more peer mm-hmm. pia nao kitu nilikuwa nataka wanipatie pia ingewezekana mm-hmm. same to most yes yeah so uh, we met with a uh, feso mm-hmm and I didn't fall but then I was in Nairobi tukongea na Festo and uh, kitu nilimwambia like yenye mimi nataka naifanye ni kuje hiyo ni wa join mm-hmm. wakakubali kuni offer mm-hmm. and mine mimi nilikuwa nataka like mali nitapewa full scholarship ya shule okay joya yeah, mimi nilikuwa nataka at least hii rugby mm-hmm. ni kuya at least ime, ime toka na something uko na plan b na yeah. c okay so mimi nilikuwa nasema i mean nataka timi tanilipia full scholarship hiyo ndio timi na chini Okay. Ana kuru akanikubalia for okay. kanipa kia. Okay. So mimi ndio huyo. So kwa join ile join hiyo precision ya 7. Mhm. Uh-huh. Eh kwanza nimeingia huko. Niliyekuwa na ambio nyingine. Najua kisi ilikuwa unaingia kiasi zetu. Uh-huh. Ndio job brilliance ilikuwa na tedogo aliniweka ambio and they following day kwanza nika travel back Nairobi. Ukatoroka, ukasema hapa. Eh, Wacha kwanza nipumue kidogo. <laughs> Jumbio ilikuwa ni mom. Uh-huh. So then tena nikarudi. Mm-hmm. Training training by the training ile kwa mmoja. Mhm. Eh, huyu Mitch huyu mmoja. Mhm. Anaweza kuwa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I hear seven say nini training training. So the first moment ile kwa Embu. Mhm. Hiyo sasa ile kwa like a build up match Pre, uh, precision. Yeah. So mm-hmm. what when did we to travel in DB Town since we got to make debut na all my young tags ndio walikuwa wengi. Mhm. Yeah, I am boy remember we made to the finals. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we lost to Oilers mm-hmm. in the finals. After that, so local security comes. Mm-hmm. And for the first time in my rugby career, nimecheza sevens. Mm-hmm. Security zote bila kuumia. Mm-hmm. And I guess it because of the conditioning yes, and fitness. Yeah, and peer so uko like una play alongside mtu anakupanga. Naona unacheza alongside Oscar Umo. Oscar anakuambia, "Eh, oh bye." kanya galai mpira itafika mm-hmm. na for sure atakufikishia mm-hmm. unacheza na kwame unajua kwame atafanya hivi atafasua hapa ufloda hapa mm-hmm. monate same so yani ku play alongside those guys ilikuwa dream may come true yeah. yeah yeah mimi by the way philip kwame has been my mentor, mentor. Okay. nimekuwa ni like ile wakibeba hiyo 2013 2014 na hizo nataka siku moja nicheze kama mzee na nataka kurusharusha watu kama yeye eh, eh, kwanza hiyo mkono wake ya left <laughs> eh, avoid uko tu <laughs> you end to right angangane so sometime nilipea na yeye aha uh-huh. mimi nasema ah mimi nishaachie ushafika ushafika yani wewe ni rugby za hiyo kiwacho yeah. umecheza na Oscoma na kwame hiyo story imeisha saa zingine ni nanishu yeah. sana uh-huh. so hiyo 2019 nikacheza hiyo 7 yote i had a best season mm-hmm. nilikuwa na nilikuwa na best season sana hiyo na siezi complete hiyo mm-hmm. 7 so i had a good season mm-hmm. ara ili fika point na ah, hapa na hata kama sasa pewa sasa make it at least at a training squad mm-hmm. nitakuwa maybe wanichuje na huko mm-hmm. uh, too bad mm-hmm. I, that is the 7s national yeah. team you, your target was uh, to play for nakuru then hopefully you can get a call up a to call the 7 side na, eh na okay. good season so i have at a command that you call up ndacheza araka ni training squad nitakuwa but araka nda chujo maybe next season at least to at least to yeah. yeah. but whatever happens cg mm-hmm. mm, selectors maybe, maybe kilo nilikuwa na kilo mingi ya msig selectors <laughs> happened yeah so yeah. after sevens mm-hmm. nikapotea nakuru Mm-hmm. I was near Karudi Kisi kidogo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so see kwa hiyo part of 15 year 2019. Mm-hmm. So coming 2020 ani Karudi. Mhm. The certain of classes zimeanza so lazima ni nirudi. Mm-hmm. So nikarudi huko nika hiyo 15. Yes. 
ile nye, ile season yenye games ilisimama yeah 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 okay. nilicheza tu hiyo kiasi zikasimamishwa mi so far like uh, rugby yangu na nakuru mostly nimeapia for them sevens mhm sija pia for them 15s mingi okay. 15s nimewachezea game tano pekee okay. that's a uh, Kenya Cup nimewachezea nne na mm-hmm. Enterprise Cup moja okay. yeah na corona ikaingia vitu kasimamishwa mm-hmm. kusimamishwa before nini before tena to resume ah mimi nani oh guys ji nini ilifanyika nikapata injury uh-huh. na guess you know yes. nili nilivunjika nilivunjika Mungu mm-hmm. So yeye yeah, kani kani rusha nje tena. Ni yeah, ili ni affect imenirudisha nyuma. Mm-hmm. Ada na wii options bado. Mm. Yes, now um, looking at your injury and uh, do you now what next for Amos Obai in terms of your rugby career? Uh, I mean those are decisions that you make and they are very personal. Mm. Uh, I'm still assessing my injury. Okay. So me party am waka kama Okay. So the by the June you mean last year November. Okay. So I, I had planned him mwaka yote nitaipatia a break. Okay. Sasa kwa anacheza but na crew who are involved I'm still part of them. Yes. I'm part of the management. Yes. Who are nasaidia team manager mostly okay. because na pia coach wetu unajua kuna national ni, team, na national team the women yes. the ladies. So napata tunasaidia nanga na wenye wamebaki. Okay. So maybe at the end, by the end of this year Uh, kama itakuwa saa i give it a try one where last you, time where do you want to finish your career uh i guess my career lazima nitamalizia kisi you want to come back to kisi uh, lazima nitamalizia kisi at least ni jaribu hata kama tutarudisha mahali mm. alafu kutoka hapa yenyewe hata hizi boots zinaweza kana mm, so uh, tunazambia kina amara amara uh, alvin yeah, amara ocha wote wote eh. wote inafa lazima to to give back because kisil to pay e platform ndio yeah. tukuje kwenda hizi teams tuko yes. e watu walikuwa wamenao wasiwa kisi walikuwa na sumbu yeah. i remember sevens kuna watu walikuwa na to avoid yeah. kuna teams zilikuwa eh hey, ah, nyenye kcb ah, walikuwa yeah. to avoid sana ah, kcb wameponea sana okay. sevens bianga sana kwa eh, sijai sawa ya, <laughs> ya kabeberi hiyo 2018 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. anyway lakini zapa tatupatie hiyo story what happened hapo ya na team team <laughs> asati 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 made sure that uh, ali made sure amepita za hapa vizuri vizuri anyway so um now uh, today we are talking about Benjamin Aimba I'd love to I don't know if you had an opportunity to engage the man himself uh, I mean I have very good reviews about uh, a few times we had an engagement he did visit uh, uh, the Kisi rugby camp when he was the national head coach and yeah. he came and he gave us uh, a lot uh, in terms of advice he was here i remember you played in the gusi sevens tournament he was here as a lead organizing uh, uh, guy and all that he has achieved a lot in terms of rugby mm-hmm. what do you remember benjamin for i mean what exactly is your memory of benja i remember uh, I, i i remember him during the our kenya cup yes with kisi mm-hmm. he came with home boys mm-hmm. together with uh, pau mm-hmm. That game ended uh, we we lost though we, we were not supposed to lose that game. Yeah, it was very mm-hmm. narrow. Well, to pick a 26 24. Mm-hmm. And after the game Benja alikuja akambia, "Hey guys, you have the potential." Mhm. Nyinyi yenyewe mmekuja ku compete. Unajua kuna ile ya ku participate na ku compete. Yes. Alituambia mmekuja ku compete. Na mkiendelea kucheza na hii nini? Trust me mtabaki. Mhm. Yeah, but the next moment what happened? The next game to go nay after you we beat mo, we beat Mwamba. No, was, after you ilikuwa ile tumeenda Impala ile imp, your resolution cup. Oh, it was during the the, the Christmas break. Yeah. Uh, so your yeah, resolution yeah, cup. Yeah, yeah. But I remember his words, eh, hey, my guys, mmekuja ku compete. Mm. And, so and everybody took it in. Yeah. So after that, tulipiga Mwamba home. Mm. Timu ile ina kuja home hapo na haiko inatoka rais. Yeah. Hakuna timu ile inatoka rais comfortably ile inasema eh hey, I remember CB wa kikuja hapa captain wao. Mm. Katula alitambia my guys. Hey. Hey. So in your opinion, do you think we should do Kisi rugby 2.0? As in should we should we again get back put our heads together as a team and uh, put everyone put everything back together and try and see what we can achieve. Yeah, I believe uh, umeona kuna young talents hapa Yes. Na 
pia mimi naambia pia kisi tumetulianzia hapo mm. so maliko saa hii ndio sisi tuliko yes. we used to contribute to end the game yes na una maybe to contribute to end your game alafu napata hiyo timu inatupea uko mhm au jitu tumeteseka na 14 sit out 17 mm. yeah. kuna sub na wako out 17 coach aka hapo <laughs> sijui wewe ndio hapo tena wewe ndio sijui chama wewe ndio nini na bado wewe unataka kucheza mm. so uh, for them at least pia wao lazima accept ya tumejipata hapa yes lazima tatoto okay na ni vizuri unajua kuanzia uanzie point 0 mm. unlike you unajua ungekuja ile team tuko Kenya cup mm. ndio kali yangu but now it's much easier to them it's yeah. point 0 yes. so wacha waanze ku learn Mm-hmm. wakipanda okay by the time maybe tena watafika hii level yenye tulikuwa tushafika mm-hmm. pia watakuwa wameachiwa yeah. yeah so wanasema nga history is a liar isha yeah. isha yeah. kizili cheza kanya kwa yes. ilishuka yes. kizili beba championship isha isha yes. Yes. ilienda yeah. so nie tena tujenge another history, another history. Yeah. Yeah. so wacha wacha sasa atiji repeat like eh, tena wamerudi yeah. now this time kama watarudi Mm. Hey, lazima waishi. Uh, Wazishuke na wakirua hata mimi nitakuwa hapo kama. <laughs> uh, clearly. So folks, um as you've heard uh, from Amos himself, he says uh trust in the process. It's a 10 year period uh, in between when he first played nationwide uh, rugby and uh, playing his Kenya Cup first game. And of course that process uh, that he trusted landed him in a position where he could be able to play very good uh, rugby uh, that is versus or with Uh, very good uh, local uh, stars and international players so folks um just in a nutshell we've had a very very interesting very early morning talk with uh, my guest Amos Obai currently playing his tried for Top Fly Nakuru FC he's my guest on the show and of course uh, it's a tradition for me to have uh, rugby guests coming in uh, of course they would have to sign one or two things and uh, i have a ball for Amos to sign this This year is a uh, memorabilia for the Telmo World Media and of course would love to uh, to have our guests uh, leave a mark. So this is our second guest and Amos please do us the pleasure. Hey. All right uh, folks This uh, has been Amos uh, he's done uh, his little bit he's played his uh, local rugby career uh, and of course uh, he's left his uh, big mark with us right here at Telmo Now we are going to have uh, lots and lots of guests lined up uh, on our show and definitely this one here is uh, is one of the many things that we'll do in uh, in terms of trying to make sure that we leave a mark we leave a legacy and of course Amos has left a legacy in Kisi and definitely definitely we are interested in making sure that uh, he and any other sports uh, greats out there can get an opportunity on the World Rugby Sports Show where we can have a laugh where we can talk about anything and at some point and even sometimes uh, you apologize most of our friends who've passed and those who've left a mark behind so folks uh, it has been uh, the Benjamin Aimba show today uh we mourn and we celebrate his life at the same time i'm very happy that you guys have uh, decided to join in remember right here at Elmo World Media we do lots and lots of productions you can get to our youtube channel uh hit the bell notification icon subscribe to our channel you can follow us on twitter follow us on instagram follow us on facebook we are Elmo World Media and definitely definitely we'll get back to you uh folks back at home this has been uh the final whistle ladies and gentlemen This has been my guest uh, Amos Obai. Thank you so much for coming through. Cheers yo. You guys uh, enjoy the sports that that's happening this week. The leagues have come to an end. Uh, we are gearing ourselves for the Euro. We are gearing ourselves for the World Cup and the Olympics coming up later on. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been your host. My name is Walter Rangi. Nani Meruka Thank you so much for tuning in. Till next time. Santeni.